Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be demoing the Zendo palette. I'm trying to see how I'm going to show this to you guys without all the glare. But you guys know what this palette looks like. It's not a new one. Anyways, this is a color story. Is that stunning or what? I love it okay so my kid of course is napping which is why I am less excited as usual speaking a lot lower um, I'm going to be using the Armani luminous silk foundation I have been testing this out ever since I uh, bought it I'm a third way through the bottle of uh, review this is gonna be coming soon because I have pretty much know how I feel about it and so I will be doing a comparison of this foundation and my Chanel Ultra Latente let me like get myself in the frame sorry anyways how nice is it not to have the vacuum cleaner raging in the background nice and quiet now all you can hear is my air conditioning which i'm gonna tell you right now it's never gonna be turned off i cannot do my makeup as i sweat so mm -mm, mm -mm, not me because i sweat like an animal like when i start sweating my friends know i know they're laughing right now maria and lily as you're watching this just picture those endless sweat stashes i used to get i sweat hardcore man anyways it's nice and peaceful you guys can hear me let's see how far i get right because um this video is contingent on when my gremlin's gonna wake up and i literally just put her down for a nap so i'm hoping it's at least an hour I hope she at least gives me an hour. Okay, that's done. I'm going in with my Chanel corrector in Pesh. Just putting that under the eye area. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of this corrector. It, you know, it does okay with my green vein. That's what I use it for, really. Oh, I gotta move. I gotta move. Piece of makeup that I had there that was sun was glaring off of it it's all right i i've kind of given up on finding any kind of concealer that can conceal that green vein that runs under my eye that sometimes this doesn't always bother me and sometimes i just wake up with it you know where it's darker more green than usual um, but I've given up trying to find concealers for it because uh, at this point I have way too many concealers. I don't use concealer in that uh, way, so I don't want to buy makeup I'm never going to use. All right, moving right along. Let's go ahead and put some... Oh, okay. So because we're using cream products, there's going to be a couple of uh, things we're going to be demoing in this video. I'm going to be doing the nude sticks. Um, finally the merit lipstick I picked up in baby and then I'm gonna be featuring the Kali Ray tubing mascara but I'm gonna do one eye with the tire 28 just so that we can see what the difference is between these two and of course the rare beauty eyeshadow primer just trying to get this out of its box okay so for today's look I am gonna use I'm gonna demo two of the colors um, am I gonna look like a clown? Absolutely. But should I do two? I'm gonna demo both of them. Be I'm gonna demo both of them because I want you guys to see both colors. So let's go ahead and swatch this. Here we've got Mood. I literally picked up this set because of this color and Picante. So I'm going to apply one to one side and one to the other. So let's start with mood. This can this can go south. I'm not going to lie. 
but we are we're gonna test it out all right I'm gonna be using the clean side of my beauty blender and just patting that in Again, I don't really know how this foundation is going to do with a cream bronzer. And I'm using my magnifying Ricky mirror because I'm afraid that this is going to lift the foundation. I'm going to go in with a little bit more. Just blend, blend, blend. And I got to be careful, right? Because this is a very deep purple and i have pretty light skin so hmm. that's pretty actually why can't they make this exact shade in a powder products no one will ever know so it's actually blended pretty well with this foundation it's not lifting Oh, I just realized I was supposed to put Picante on this side, but I ended up putting Mood on both. Okay, fine. You know what? That's a sign. I'll save this one for my upcoming video. Sorry. Sorry. All right. It was meant to be. I wasn't meant to wear both colors. This palette is already loud enough, and it may have distracted you all. That's pretty, right? Wow. Who would have thought that I'm gonna apply just a little bit more? And I'm going in light handed because I'm not familiar with these Nude 6 products. Wow. I'm impressed. That's that's nice. Really nice. But Nude 6, can we just, any company, not just Nude 6, can we come out with this color and a powder blush? We'd really appreciate that. Okay, I'm really imp impressed with the blush, guys. Wow. Hmm. Okay, I think, yeah, those are all my cream products. I'm going to set with my um, Bare Minerals uh, Translucent Mineral Veil. And I am using... an it cosmetics powder brush you guys have seen this powder brush a million times okay i didn't even show you what it looked like this is just my mineral veil powder Okay, now let's go in with bronzer. I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star and Glow palette. And just gonna apply a little bronzer around the edges of the face. I just want to take a moment to thank all of you who have stuck around after I became a mom and this channel got real chaotic because I am fully aware that you could be using your time watching way better YouTubers that upload way better content than I do. And so I just want you to know that I appreciate it and I'm touched. I'm going to go in with that highlighter in this palette just gonna put that on the temples it's really bright outside the lighting is changing quickly okay gonna go in with some rare beauty eyeshadow primer i haven't made up my mind about this primer so I will keep you guys posted. I do like how much coverage it gives me. It really does neutralize the veins on my eyelids. But I guess today will be a good way to test this out because 
Natasha Denona shadows are on another level. Okay, so the first time I tested this was that with the Westman Atelier complexion drops and I didn't really like it too much. It made my eyeshadow crease and that's just because I didn't set it before. Now that I've set it, this has, the dry down is, is really good, really good. I actually like the way that feels on my eyes. It's like a satin uh, finish. Okay, let's dig into this palette. So, um, I wanna go ahead and incorporate some of the greens and the blues in this palette as liner uh, shades. And that's how I always intended to use this palette. If you saw my video when I hauled this palette, um, you guys know that I had mentioned that I love the way that the greens were done in this palette I think it was done very well. The undertones were right and so I want to use these as accent colors um, Because if you notice there's not many of these there's more like neutral brownie peachy shades So I want to kind of mix this and incorporate this into kind of like an everyday look And I'll be using my Sonia G sky set they are making their debut for the first time on this channel okay so i'm going to start off using the classic crease brush and i'm going to go into the color calm which looks like one of her creamy matte shades we'll talk about finishes when i do the swatches but i'm just using that as a transition shade i had to pull down the shade because it was getting way too bright i was messing with the light okay i'm slowly just building this color in the crease and i'm going to tell you right now this rare beauty um eyeshadow primer works so much better with the natasha denona eyeshadow formula because the more that i had been using my natasha denona palettes in you know my videos i was noticing that my urban decay primer eyeshadow primer um it was a little too tacky for her um eyeshadow formula and it was uh, making it hard for me to blend shadows that I normally didn't have a problem blending and it was that it was that the eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay has like that tacky feeling and Natasha Denona's eyeshadow formulas they don't really respond well to that kind of feel Okay, so I've kind of just diffused that into the crease. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, next I want to go into Balance, which is this like terracotta brown. And we're going to use that, whoa, that is, <laughs> using the same brush, by the way, that is much uh, darker than it looked in the pan and much more pigmented. Holy crap. Okay. We're just going to blend that out. Okay. Lightly, lightly tapping that in. Wow, I love this color. That's beautiful. Okay, just blending that into the crease. I'm gonna use the jumbo uh, blender, and I just—it's clean. I just wanna soften out the edges as we go. Okay. Next, I want to use the soft shader and I want to dip into Tranquil, which is this shade right here. And I want to apply that 
all over the lid. Wow, that shade is stunning. That's beautiful. Just doing the same thing to the other eye. I'm gonna tell you guys, on first impression, I'm liking the sky, the Sonia G sky set a lot better than the pro set. And I consider myself to have big eyelids. So I know that the sky set is more for people with smaller eyes, but I like this set a lot better. Okay, now let's dip into some greens. Okay, so I want to go in with Zeal. And I'm gonna be using the mini booster. I'm just gonna very oh so lightly dip into that and just concentrate that on the outer corner here. Now this may this may come out terrible, but we're trusting the process so just concentrating this right here giving a little detail to the crease this brush is a lot stiffer than i expected it to be Okay, I like that. Now let's go in with the jumbo blender and then let's soften that out. Okay, like that. Let's go back to the mini booster. Let's dip into Zeal again and let's do the same thing to the other eye. All right, so now I zoomed you guys a little bit closer because I'm gonna work in some eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the flat definer brush. Um, so this is Zeal. I think it adds a very nice, like, a je ne sais quoi feel to the eye. Just gonna diffuse that a little bit. I'm not a pro, you know, makeup artist, so. I really just applied that shadow there because I wanted it to peek through just a little bit and so that it's a little cohesive with the eyeliner we're about to do. So I wanna go into the shade I've been dying to try since I bought this palette, Mantra, right here. It's this emerald green shade. And we are gonna use this as a liner. And I'm actually, I'm going to just apply that to the outer half. Oh wow, that is so pretty. And I really just very lightly glided the brush over the shadow. There's no fallout, which is super important when it comes to dark shades like this because you don't want a hot mess all over your face which is one of the things i appreciate um about the natasha denona palettes let's go ahead and do the other eye It's tricky when I have you guys this close because it's easy for me to get out of the frame. This brush is actually super soft, this flat definer brush. I am very impressed. So I'm very lightly gliding that on the outer corner of the eye. that is stunning okay next i'm gonna go in with equilibrium 
which is this deep um, metallic -y looking blue and I'm gonna go over mantra with this shade am I crazy yes but we're gonna do it because I have a feeling this is gonna come out really good or maybe not and this video will never see the light of day who knows Okay, that gave this liner some depth and a little pizzazz. Ooh, I like that. Okay, now let's go in with, let me see what kind of brushes I have left. Where is that brush? Okay, let's go in with the soft shader. And this is the one I had used for Tranquil. I'm rubbing this off, okay, on a towel that I have here. And I actually wanna layer some of Scents, which is this bronzy shade. No, 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 let's go in with Yama. Let's go in with Yama. I'm gonna use the other side of that brush just to make sure and we're gonna pop that right on the center just to give it some light <gasps> wow is the camera picking that up that is beautiful okay i'm actually gonna have to drag this in a little bit more in because that color is beautiful wow okay let's do the other eye i thought it was gonna be much more like um white base than it looks but I don't know what's going on with my camera i don't know why it's having a hard time focusing but but layered over tranquil gives it like a very pretty peachy rose gold kind of look wow that is really nice <gasps> okay I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more. Cause I'm trying to not, I'm trying to not overdo it, you know? Wow, that's pretty. I really wanna apply some scents to this portion of the eye, but I feel like we're good here. I feel like this is good. I feel like if I add scents, it's gonna make it really dark and it's gonna take away from the green. So we're gonna stop right here. I'm gonna have some sort of self-control. I'm gonna go back in with the jumbo blender and I'm just gonna soften the area. Now, I'm not mad that this palette doesn't have a brow bone highlight because I feel like these shadows are so bright in and of itself that you don't need much. So now let's go in with some brow gel and then we'll demo the mascara. So I'm gonna go in with some Gimme Brow. Oh my gosh, I just got that all over my eyebrow. Lord. Well, I hope it comes off without messing up this entire look. Okay, I was able to remove that with my finger and then I went in with that blender brush I was using to soften up the edges. I had a little bit of, you know, shadow and it just kind of erased it like magic. All right, first of all, let's try the one mascara we haven't uh, demoed yet, which is the Kali Ray. Come help or high water. I did purchase the small version of this um, because I'm not trying to have a bunch of mascaras go old. I really do try to make an effort to use everything I have in my collection. So let me first of all show you 
the wand on this. Very different than the Tower 28. So we'll do one eye with this mascara and then one eye with the Tower 28. Kind of has a similar effect upon first swipe. This formula is much wet. It's wetter. Is that even a word? You know what I mean. Then the Tower 28 formula. And it is very lengthening, but lashes are thicker. And that's just due to the wand bristles on this. Alright, so this is... The first coat. I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is not... Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Let me stop. Let me stop messing with it. <laughs> Alright, now let's try the Tower 28 on the other eye. And that way, we can compare. You see how the one on this is completely different? There's no like bristles, it's like a, that plastic spiky kind of one. I do prefer the Kali Ray um, bristles to this, but like normally, but this this kind of bristle for this type of formula it's working really well i feel like it's doing a better job than the cali ray because i'm getting length but my lashes are fluttery much more fluttery than these i don't know if you can see what i'm talking about but okay so this is one coat of each all right, I did get a little bit of mascara right there, but we're going to let that dry before we touch it because we don't want to smudge it. Okay, let's go in with the Merit Lipstick in Baby. I love the package of these lipsticks. They're weighty. It feels very luxurious. Uh, here's the color. Let's swatch it back here. It's like a purpley pink it's sort of a, a satin finish so I had to reposition myself because the light is being very weird today um, this is the baby lipstick um, in Merit I wouldn't necessarily use this lipstick for this look. I, I'm i going to take it off and I'm going to try the Charlotte Tilbury Stone Rose uh, lipstick. I think it's going to go better with this eye look. So I'll show you that in a minute. But I did want to show you close up of my eyes. Isn't that pretty? And what do you guys think? We've got the Cali Ray on this side and we've got Tower 28 on this side. I think I like the Tower 28 better. I don't know. Let me know. Now let's try on that Charlotte Tilbury Stone Rose lipstick with this eyeshadow look. This is with the Stone Rose, yeah, Stoned Rose lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. Which one do you guys prefer with this eye look? I think this orangey uh, lipstick is more appropriate for fall but is that i'm gonna get close isn't that i really love the way this shadow look came out 
really really nice okay now let's build up these mascaras because I need to know I need to know so we're gonna start off with Kali Ray and let's apply a second layer better but mm, not great not great let's try let's now let's build up the tower 28 all right so far built up i like the i feel like overall the tower 28 mascara performs a little bit better uh, i think that maybe because this is a much this formula is a little bit more wet i think that this may perform better as the formula as i use it more and the formula dries down a bit because it's like clumping my lashes you see that got like three lashes clumped together there um and it, it looked a little bit better built up but not the best versus the tower 28 is just much more it's fluttery and nice but i'll let you guys know because straight out of the tube the tower 28 formula is much drier so i don't know it longevity wise if this is going to last too like if it's going to last long basically um and because this one's wet it may perform better over time you guys know what i'm saying and it may last longer because since this one's already dry this may dry out quicker i don't know if i'm making sense but you guys know what I'm, you guys follow me here <laughs> follow me on my train thought you guys know what i'm trying to say because this is drier it may dry out quicker and because this one is wetter it may perform better over time wow look at look at that i got my whole train of thought right there so so far as of right now and i've only you have used the tower 28 twice and this one is my first impressions i like the tower 28 better but we'll see if you've been using though if you've been using any one of these for a while please leave me a comment down below i want to know uh what your opinion is about those uh, those two mascaras okay overall thoughts let's talk about this palette absolutely amazing i will be inserting swatch clips as i am going through my overall thoughts about this palette i love the way that these shadows performed they were absolutely beautiful the greens are done so well um it's not too many because i feel like greens and blues is not really something that you're gonna wear every single day so this is a palette i feel that you are gonna be able to get use out of all the colors in here because most more than half of this palette is very friendly and usable colors like the peaches the browns the mustards and then we have this side over here where you've got some nice beautiful pops of green and blue that you can incorporate as liner the way that i do that i did in this look or you can actually use it to detail and put into the crease to kind of make it a little bit cohesive something different something new so i like this i think i'm gonna, gonna get a lot of use out of it the formula in here is the typical natasha denona formula i'm always very impressed with her eyeshadows i know that they are pricier than most and this may be considered a luxury brand but her eyeshadow formula just like the pat mcgrath eyeshadow formula they're unmatched i mean they these makeup artists really knocked it out of the park when they came up with their different formulas and different shades they really do so well and my hat's off to them because that is their art and they are very good at it um in reference to the merit lipstick i love the merit lipstick i love the way that it feels on the lips i didn't particularly like it with this look um but this is this is my shade i like a pink purpley shade i that's all me I love love the way that this wears throughout the day because I have worn this before before this video and it's very comfortable on the lips it does have like a satin finish very comfortable however 
I am a little bit skittish and you guys know that's I mentioned this in another video the reason I only picked one of these up was because I heard from several people that the bullet of this lipstick tends to break off and so I'll keep you posted if that happens to mine I will be using this diligently um, in the next month or so mascaras I already gave you my over thought, overall thoughts about this so we'll move on I was very impressed with the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer and I think this is going to be my next go-to. I do love it a, just a lot more than my Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. I think that this is a little bit more comparable to my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer from Bare Minerals that was discontinued and nobody knows why. I'm a little bit salty about that. The Nude Sticks. Uh, blushes this one is in mood blue am I saying that right yeah mood blue I was actually really impressed with it it's really nice I thought it was gonna be loud it wasn't gonna you know go well but when you blend it out it blends out easily and I don't know I'm really digging the purple blush tones and I think that we need this in a powder form. I want this in a powder form. That's all I'm not gonna say it again. Okay, now let's talk about the Sonia G Sky Set, which I didn't pick up during the Sephora sale, but we're I'm demoing it in this video. I actually, on first impressions, love this particular set more than the Pro Set. These uh, bristles were softer right off the bat <laughs> uh, I haven't washed them and the reason I, I did that on purpose and it's because the first time I tried the pro set I didn't wash them and I wanted to compare that same experience to these although I haven't washed these these in my opinion performed a lot better than the pro set and I don't have small hooded eyes and to my knowledge correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, comments below this set was specifically um, designed for those of you with small hooded eyes I have larger eyes as you can see borderlining ET uh, but I really enjoyed this set I, I really liked these particular shades um, shape brushes especially this one I really like this one and this what is this one called this mini booster I really love that for detail work I think it's the perfect size for what I was trying to do in my crease area so leave me a comment down below if you own both pro and sky set I want to know which one's your favorite so far I really like this a lot better all right that completes my overall thoughts on all the products I tried and as a spoiler alert I just want you guys to know that during the Sephora sale, I picked up the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. This is no longer sold at Sephora, but you know who sells it? Kohl's. Sephora is at Kohl's, and they have this palette, and I was able to get it for 20% off with my Rouge discount. I have been wanting this since the first day it came out. And I, I mentioned this to Maria when I saw this with her in store. I love this palette and I, I never picked it up because I just thought to myself, you know, again, I was very fooled by the very intense swatches that Natasha Denona does um, on her Instagram and, you know, her website. And I'm just like, that is way too pigmented for me. I'm never gonna be able to wear those shades. But now that I, have learned how to manipulate the formula to make it work for me and make you know everyday friendly looks I had to have this one so I will be uploading a video of this soon so stay tuned for that but you guys don't snooze on the Sephora at Kohl's you may be able to find lots of things that are sold out or have are not being sold at you know Sephora you can find it at Sephora Kohl's 
anyway i will say the only pain in the butt was trying to sign in to my sephora account into the kohl's website that was a pain you have to actually create a kohl's account in order to sign into your sephora account that whole process needs to be much easier because i almost gave up i almost gave up but i really wanted that palette and i wanted it at 20 percent off and i for the longest time it hasn't been at sephora all right that completes this video um thank you so much for watching i appreciate your time and see you next time bye